Okay, boys and girls, today we're taking a look at a breakdown on paracord lanyards. Today we're going to be taking a look at the three most common lanyards that I run throughout my gear and that you will see on the channel. I'm going to be breaking down what the purpose of these lanyards are, when I use them, and why I use them. So without any further ado, please don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe, and let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first one we're going to talk about is some of these other guys out of the way. It's going to be the lanyard that I use on equipment or on clothing. And these are kind of what I call my assist lanyards. And essentially what the purpose and goal of these lanyards are to do is really just to assist me when putting on gear. So these especially make a pretty big difference when, say, you have a winter glove on and you're trying to put on your other winter glove. Uh, these little lanyards just make it a lot easier than trying to grab, say, this little piece of, you know, red and pull it on. So, they're pretty basic, pretty simple, but they do serve a very nice purpose, and they do make it just that much easier when it comes to donning your equipment or your clothing for the woods, especially, like I said, in winter months. So, that is these types of assist lanyards. Like I said, you'll see them on my gloves on jackets, on different things that I need that little bit of assist with. Okay, so the next one that is pretty common on the channel is these tag lanyards. And these ones I get some comments about periodically, primarily because people say that they are too small. And the primary reason I run these tag lanyards on pretty much all of my knives, especially my mainstay bushcrafting knives, is essentially they serve one purpose, and that's to assist taking the knife out of its sheath. And as you can see with something like this Bark River Knives Bushcrafter, when it's in its sheath, most of the blade and most of the knife as a whole is covered. So most of this handle, I'd say probably about 75% of the handle is covered. So it's not the most easy or intuitive blade to try to grab. So I have this little lanyard here just so that I can uh, find the blade better when I'm not looking at it. So I can just find it and it helps me pull out the blade just that little bit easier. So especially if I'm running this uh, neck knife like under my shirt and I can't directly see the blade um, or the knife as a whole, the lanyard just helps me identify that knife a little bit faster and like I said, it helps with retrieval of the blade just a little bit. So that is the purpose of these tag lanyards. They, like I said, are on all of my mainstay knives and pretty much, I'd say, a good majority of my blades. They just help me take the blade out of the sheath that much easier and make life just a little bit more easy and simple. Okay, so the last lanyard that is present on my larger tools, so things like hatchets, saws, axes, are my retrieval lanyards. Now these retrieval lanyards serve a little bit of a different purpose and they primarily are there to help make sure that the knife or that the tool, whether it's a saw or a hatchet, doesn't get lost in the process of whatever wilderness task I'm about. So whether I'm setting the tool down, it helps, you know, remind me where it is and I can easily identify it because it doesn't blend in with the wilderness. Uh, this, usually the colors of these retrieval lanyards are going to be bright reds or bright oranges. Now this one is technically was orange. It's a little bit dirty nowadays but this is an orange lanyard and it looks a little bit better off camera in uh, in the lighting, but essentially, like I said, what they're there for is whether the axe gets set down or if it gets dropped in the snow. The reason why these lanyards, these retrieval lanyards, are a bit long, as you can see, this is the majority of the length of this handle is to compensate for the fact that if it gets dropped in the snow, the lanyard is lighter than the hatchet, so it will, you know, kind of stick out. It will not just sink into the snow like the rest of the tool. So it's there to help with retrieval. It's also there, like I said, should the tool get set down or dropped to be there so that it's a high visibility marker on the tool so that it can be found with greater ease. Now, whether or not it's 100% effective, that's open to interpretation, but it is there for 
hopefully if it's ever needed. So with these uh, lanyards and like with the tag lanyards, I usually make them or usually knot them with snake knots like this. And I just find that snake knots are pretty unobtrusive, pretty minimalistic, and uh, they just work pretty well for rounding off the ends of my lanyards. So I usually use snake knots on retrieval lanyards and tag lanyards but you can certainly use things like overhand knots as well. They work just fine. They just aren't quite what I prefer. So anyways, that is the three basic lanyards that you see throughout the YouTube channel and when I use them and why I use them. So hopefully this kind of breaks things down and maybe this helps you guys choose what you guys want to run for lanyards. Anyways, guys, as always, God bless and I'm out.